a little long of a live stream today, but sit back, relax, enjoy. And we're going to have a little bit of an AMA too, just because we don't have too many videos to go over. So if anyone's got any questions or anything like that, feel free to ask. I'm going to be going over kind of my drop strategies today. If I'm going for these drops, I'll let you guys know which ones, if I'm skipping them all. I definitely love the artwork of these. You know, shout out to all the artists dropping. We got Sket One, we got Allison Bamcat, and one of my favorite artists that I discovered because of the VV app, Tara McPherson. So we got December Bitcoin in the building. We got Daniel Marquez. How we doing? How we doing, fam? Right now, I'm going to just dive into kind of the details of today's drop. First one dropping today, we got Sket One. Now, this collectible kind of dropped earlier so this is going to be i guess not the first edition let's see if it says first edition it's a con exclusive not a first edition so shout out to anyone who got the first installment no coffee gate today just sipping on some hot tea i like the colors of these a whole bunch of different colorways here Kind of expensive of a price point, but, you know, these artist collectibles, I think there will be a time when they kind of take off eventually. Maybe once the interoperability is here, but let's take a look at these. Make sure I got the first one here. So the first one, we got the Uncommon. <laughs> right off the bat, we're starting low today. Under a 1,000 editions for the highest rarity Uncommon. I love that fact. You know, $77 list price. This is a blind box, so they're all going to be $77. The rare is at 888 editions. This is going to be a tough drop. I think it's going to sell out ASAP. <laughs> Just that alone makes me want to go for it, try to get it. List price, $77. Edition, 777 editions. I'll let you guys know, too, at the very end, if I'm going for this drop. Got the radioactive ting. <laughs> That's pretty cool. This one's called the boom thing, phase one. We got the bombed thing. I kind of do like this one the best. And this is the secret rare. Only 555 editions for this. I do think the ones that get lucky and get this one on the drop probably will be able to flip it for a good amount. The rare... I think that's going to go above retail too right away. Two rares, huh? No, this is the ultra rare. I think the ultra rare will. I don't know. This is going to be a tough one. Let me know you guys' thoughts. Do you guys think this is going to go above retail, below retail? Um, either way, I think it's a pretty cool piece of artwork. And again, guys, if you don't like the art, if you don't like it, don't go for it, you know? Um, I think what we shouldn't be seeing, though, is a lot of people tearing it down. You know, I think the artists spent a lot of time, a lot of their work. I do have a short little video that I did fine that was pretty cool that i want to kind of bring up it's only a four minute long video i think he just posted it like 30 minutes ago too and i just watched it right before i came on the live and it's a good sentiment to echo so i kind of just want to dive into it real quick yeah my vv collection mjp 618 subscribers makes a lot of vv content it looks like just a four minute long video i kind of just want to show you guys what he says and just so you can hear it because i think he hits the nail on the head with this one you know if you guys don't like to drop you know, don't go for it. It's that simple, right? Don't talk bad about it. Don't talk bad about the artists or anything like that because I think it's important to make these artists feel welcome in the community. So just a quick little four-minute long video. Let's stop, let's dive in and see what he has to say, huh? Shout to my VV collection, MJP. Give him a subscribe. Quick PSA for the decon drops coming this weekend. It's very important that we as a VV community really support these artists. And that doesn't necessarily mean going for the drop if you think it's going to go below retail. Personally, these are very limited drops, so I don't even know what my price predictions are for these right now. Typically, it's still not something that I'm going for, but you can still support the artists in an active way or in just being passive in some sense but it's important for us i think as a community to show some support for these artists and just to touch on a quick point he just brought up you guys don't go for the drop you know i won't be going for every drop but you can still support the artist by retweeting stuff on twitter just you know talking politely about their art just respecting it you know main, the main thing is just i don't want to see people like trashing the art or anything like that you know make these artists feel welcomed 
So, you know, they're excited to drop more art. So they're excited to tell their friends and all kinds of different artists that they know to come onto the VV app. So make sure it's a good experience for them. In some way and not to have some sort of negative sentiment towards the art and towards the artist mostly when it comes to online chatter, when it comes to if these do go below retail, turning on the artist or whatever that might look like. Even if these do go below retail, they could have a longer term future for them. So it's not like everything that you purchase now is going to 10x tomorrow and you'll be able to withdraw whatever amount but my my point is that it's important that we show our support to these artists for a few reasons and i'll i'll get to the most important one right away to not make it seem like this is self-serving as a uv community uh in its of itself but uh first and foremost there's a human behind these art projects and it doesn't make sense to negatively attack someone for the art that they've made or that your drop that you got went below retail because of their art and whatnot just remember that there's a human behind these pieces of art that have really put a lot of work and uh, a lot of themselves into each of these pieces so that's always important to remember also as a community we want these artists having a good feeling about VV when they're done with these drops yeah. and that they're going to bring more art to VV as well as more artists because if they have artist friends that ask them about their experience with their VV drops and they say you know what the community just ate me alive it's not worth going through the hassle of going ahead and doing a drop on VV because all of the negative comments just got to me blah 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 and that does come with a lot of things with you know coming to a wider stream audience a mainstream audience and you know getting their eyes getting more eyes towards their art but if we as a community can rather show support to them i think that's a better experience and that's going to be better for the community for the artists and for vivi as well in the future art is subjective and that just means that what you think about the art may not be what the next person thinks about the art and the next person after that. So it's okay to have an opinion about art. It's just not okay to express that opinion against that artist who's the person behind that art. And if you can choose your word it's wisely to get your opinion across about the piece of art without being too disrespectful, to, without being too... I guess mean without having a better choice of words at this early in the morning. I think that is important to Vivi, to the community and to these artists as well. I'm sure lots of people have not liked their art in the past. I'm sure many more people like their art anyways right now. So it's probably something that they've become accustomed to. But if we as a VV community can show them their support, show them that we're here to support them and their incredible art that they've got coming on the platform, I think that's the best for every party involved with this. And that's just my PSA. Quick PSA. <laughs> Great video, brother. Completely agree with the sentiment. My VV collection, MJP, if you want to go shoot him a subscribe on YouTube. 618 subs. Let's try to get them to 700, huh? But that was a great, you know, great little PSA. Just because, you know, Echo is a good point there. Some Taco John breakfast burritos. Big ball. And let's go, Gio. Skipping things. We'll go for Mayor Fearson, though. Yeah, let me know what your guys' game plan. Are you guys skipping any of them? Are you guys skipping all of them? Are you guys going for any of them? I love the McPherson art. Let's, let's dive into all of them, huh? So we covered the Ting. Shout out to Sket One. Sket One's a pretty big artist, too. I believe Chad Collects had just had a... and Or Chad Ross. I'm getting these names confused. I believe it's a couple people on YouTube. Let me see if I can bring up their... They had an interview with Sket One. So if you guys want to go check out their interview, hear what Sket One has to kind of say. Sket One... Um, Chad I think it's Chad Collects is the YouTube name. Blake and Chad's Blake and Chad's Collect and Connect. This is it. 
Let's bring up their YouTube channel real quick. Yeah, Blake and Chad's Collect and Connect. That's why I always get the name confused, but I know it's a couple YouTubers. Uh, they did just interview Sket one, so that was pretty sweet. 44-minute long interview. Let's go show them some love, huh? Let's get his subs up. Pretty sweet that they're interviewing a lot of these artists that are dropping on the platform. I'm going to have to give that a watch later today. I haven't given a watch just yet. Chasing Sundays. Good morning. Good morning. Great works. Thanks, Stephen Freelander. How we doing? How we doing? So a lot of, you know, funny stuff on the Twitter timeline for the last few days. Shout out to everyone on Twitter. Maybe Dark Link in the house. I don't know who you're talking about, Tucson. <laughs> Jimbo Lee Lingo. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, I know Jimbo is going for that secret rare today. <laughs> He'll pretend. I mean, that was the first time I saw his YouTube channel. So I wanted to just kind of echo his, his sentiment because it's definitely something that I agree with, you know. Good to have you live. Good to have you in the building, Roman Z. Today's going to be a long live stream, guys. Um, today's going to be, whew, I think maybe, I don't know how long it's going to be. Maybe three hours, four hours long. It's going to be a long one, guys. So buckle up. You know, maybe grab some something to drink, something to eat. G Metals is thinking, I have a feeling Ting will do pretty decent today, but who knows? You know, it's a it's a limited drop, so it could do well. I kind of I don't really have a good price prediction on how the thing could do because I think it's gonna sell out ASAP. But I think a lot of people are gonna try to use it as like a quick flip. So it could have some sell pressure in there. I don't know. There's the secret rare is gonna do really good. This went on two minutes too long. It was only a four minute long video, Tucson, so you know, you could have turned it off after two, <laughs> two minutes if you wanted to. But I think it was important, you know. I think it's – if you don't like the drop, if you don't like the art, you know, don't go for it. But I think it's important that we at least show respect to these artists, you know. Let's let's take a look. Let's take a look. The thing I think will do pretty well. I think it will surprise people. Let me just kind of look at this again. The highest edition is only less than a 1,000. I love that fact. It's not a first edition type, but it's a Comic Con. It's a con exclusive, so that has some weight there. I love the art on this. At first, you know, I was kind of iffy, but it kind of grew on me really quick. I think it's just the color combinations of like that, the pink and the blues like hit differently for some reason. You know what I think it is? It's like not a common color combination, I would say. So I think it just. It hits you different because you're not used to seeing like a blue on a pink, and I like that. It's kind of sweet. This is Allison Bamcat. So the first one we have here is a forty dollar, forty five dollar list price. So it's about half of what the the tings were. Excuse me, interesting. I kind of wish the tings were about this price point. If so, I think it would easily be you know a great drop for a thing i think it'll do really well i still think it's going to do pretty well honestly only 999 editions for the thing uncommon let me know what you guys think do you think any of the things are going to come out under retail it's possible it's pretty limited so this one from allison bamcat we got the rare 1266 editions for a 45 dollar list price i like that pretty solid price point not too expensive now here's the big one right now and this is why I think some of these decons will surprise people because people are going to go for the art. You know, they like both of these arts probably. Kind of like this one even a little bit more. The one that has more editions. Interesting. But this has 666 editions for ultra rare $45 list price. I think this will do pretty well. Which one do you guys like more? I kind of like the one with the more editions. You know, it kind of fits BB's theme of always doing that, making the more popular one the one with more additions. But I'm sure there's going to be some people that like this one, though, too. That's Alice Bamcat dropping at, let's see here. Yeah, I think that's dropping at, what, 12? 
Yep, 12 p.m. Eastern time. I'm on the East Coast, so everything's kind of a little bit different for me. And we have Terry McPherson. This is actually some of the artwork that I did pick up from the first drop of Terry McPherson. Um, I'll show you guys real quick which one I do have. I'm a big fan of it, too. Um, I think it's pretty limited. Maybe only like... Let me find it. Let me find it. It's one of my favorite arts on the VV app. Big fan of the the Patrick Hughes art. <laughs> Matching mints. That's one of my favorites, too. The Way OB. Yeah, only 666 editions. This is the one that I have right here. The Way OB. Let me see if I can fix the screen for you. This is the one that I currently do have. Don't really plan to sell it. Absolutely love the way this one looks. So I did the more edition one as well. Let me get to um some comments real quick before we go over the Tara McPherson last one. Because I'm excited for this drop. Um, Jimbo Lee Lingo with the super sticker. Let's go. Oh, my guy, Jimbo Lee Lingo. Appreciate you big time. Amazing, man. Jimbo Lee Lingo, I can tell, is excited for this drop. I think you're going for the first one, right? Good luck to you, Jimbo. You deserve a secret rare today. I think everything will go above retail. It's just too limited, you know? Could be wrong, but I don't know. I feel like, you know, this one, let me back out. I think the Tings will go above retail. I think you're right, December. I think it's just too limited not to. But let me let me try to find the first thing and see if uh, what the price point is on this one in the decon market, I believe. Yeah, the Napoleon thing is at one ninety right now, and there's only eight hundred eighty-eight editions. Yeah, I think the thing definitely will go above retail. You got the first one at one ninety. And there's only 888 editions. So I think this is easily going to probably come out even above 100 bucks. So I think it will be worth going for it. Let's see. Ah, let's see. Yeah. This is a Terry McPherson drop. So the first one we got, we got the Love Space Gives. Love Space Gives. <laughs> Interesting. Kind of like the space vibes on it, though. I feel like that's what her artwork really reminds me of, like the space galaxy type vibes. 1,266 editions for the $45 list price. Definitely like this one a lot. This one's pretty cool. The Crystal Waterfall. Can you imagine one day if they animate this? Woo! That would look sweet. I think it's a possibility in the future, you know, straight speculation only, though. That's a good thing about these artist collectibles. You know, we're starting to see a little bit more of the utility come with these big IPs, you know, the big brands that I'm a big fan of. But we're going to see this a lot more often, I think, with the art artist collectibles. They just have a lot more wiggle room, a lot more creativity they can do because it's just one person. You don't have to rely on, you know, sending back and forth and, you know, it just takes a lot longer when you have to deal with these big IPs. 666 editions for this one. I think this one's going to do really well, too. One just looks amazing, and it's super limited. Definitely a big fan of that. Definitely a big fan of that. Above retail, Ryu's thinking. Yeah, I think the, I think the Tings will. JD, do you work? I always have, th have the thought you are a chef. I don't know why. <laughs> Why do you think I'm a chef? <laughs> I can cook a little bit, but I'm not like a you know a great cook or anything like that. I cook pretty simple stuff. I'm a pretty picky eater, I would say. The common better, but you know, I like cooking food. I could totally see JD as a chef. That's hilarious, isn't the hair? <laughs> I do like cooking food. Um, I wouldn't say I'm like the best chef, best cook in the world who can make like anything. Um, I need a little bit more experience, but <laughs> I like cooking food. And the Illuminati lady. 
Kobe collects in the building. Kobe's going for some. I don't care if they go to zero. I want the bird cat. <laughs> What's a bird cat? <laughs> Which one is that, Kobe? Which one do I want to get? I definitely want this one. I want the crystal waterfall from Terry McPherson. Is this the bird cat that you're talking about? This might be the bird cat Kobe's talking about. <laughs> I could see that little bird cat action. You know what? I didn't realize that's what it was. <laughs> that's also why it's kind of so intriguing because not only the colorway, but it's like two, maybe three different animals in one. That's pretty unique. And this one, 666 editions. I do want this one as well. I, I just like the colors on it. And from the Sket 1, if I decide to go for this one, I would probably flip it. I don't have many gems right now at all, so I'm looking for ways to stack some gems. Phase 1. I kind of like the Phase 1 color in this one. Boom. <laughs> radioactive thing. I don't love the colorway, but I love the fact that it's like radioactive. I like this one the most. The bomb thing. I would say the bomb in the first one, Phase 1. Between the things. Good morning, fans. My hair is crazy long too. Maybe if I had my hair down, it wouldn't look like a chef. It's funny you think I look like a chef. <laughs> so a little bit different. So chasing Sundays. Um, it all depends. Like I was looking at the Napoleon thing. This is the first one that dropped. It's in the decon tab. This one has 888 editions. This is the first edition, though. Um, but it's at 190. So it's at 190 and has 880 editions. You would think that one with 999 editions would do pretty well. And then 888 may be similar. Again, these aren't first editions like that first one. So maybe people like that. But this is a con exclusive. So I think that's probably the next best thing. My cat would love a bird cat. That's hilarious. <laughs> Need me a bird cat. <laughs> Enough the hair. That's hilarious. Also, if you guys haven't tuned in yet, you know, a lot of you guys know Pineapple Gang, Maker Music. You know, I'm on there too. But we got a new banger. We got a new VV anthem. If you guys don't know, let's see. It's uh, Will, Sav, and Callie. So let's let's break it down. This YouTube uh, video may not get monetized today because of it, but you know what? I don't really care. Let's show them some love. Guys, make sure you guys go follow the VV's music group. 701 subscribers. Let's get them to 1K, huh? 1,600 views already. The music, the song just came out yesterday. It's a brand new song. Let's run up the likes. I think it's catchy. I think it sounds good. And it's a vibe. Let's dive into it. Who else is on that, VV? Let's go. I'm on that VV. In the metaverse, come and meet me. In a tease, I need more of them. Get you right in my DeLorean. So you can meet me in VV's metaverse like we dreaming. This the chance of my life. I feel my spot is tingling. I'm just trying to make my fall look respectable. My head is full of thoughts of all my digital collectibles. Start with a hundred gems and just try to flip it up. It's a game within a game when you connect with us. I'm on VV. I ain't hitting the gram. I'm just thinking what I'll do with all my digital land. Yeah. Shout out to Team Comment. We gon' keep dropping. Pump up at 750. I need a cup of coffee. And only to the moon. You can't stop it. You can meet me in the metaverse with champagne popping. Like, I'm on that VV. <laughs> in the metaverse, come and meet me. I got money on my mind. I got charts, I got price. I'm on that VV. In the metaverse, come and meet me. In a tease, I need more of them. Get your ride right in my DeLorean. They call me Crypto Cali. Not really, but I do know a little bit about Omni and VV. Everybody asking about Mickey and Mo. 
When I know how I came up on the 
This is hilarious. I don't want to play it because it, I will get like copyrighted for this, but shout out to Foster and Randy. <laughs> That's hilarious. Looks like they're all together in New York right now. <laughs> we could surprise people with these these uh drops today but we shall see we shall find out good morning fun under the sun how we doing how we doing brother what value would you give rizzo one two three Big value right there, my man. Let's, let's check it out, huh? I should bring it up on the VV web app. Maybe I should log in. I think I'm going to log in. All right, so the first three-digit right off the bat is at 4.3K. That's a 300 mint. 116 is at 4.6K from a real user. I would value one, two, three of a more valuable than that since it's sequential. Oh, it's at 8.8K. This is why you're asking. Okay, I see it now. I mean, great move by him to list it definitely higher. Now, for me, I don't think I'd be able to pay that much money for it. Just because I don't have... If I had, you know, 20, 30, 50K gems, then yeah, why not? But if I had... You know, a slim amount of gems, and you just wanted to lock in a Rizzo, which I believe in Rizzo big time. I think any of those Batman in the first set are going to be a big deal, in my opinion. The first appearance, Todd, is going to be legendary. And then the first editions. I mean, you won't ever see another first edition collectible like that. Besides the Harley Quinns that are out, that's another great season one set. But first ever set on Vivi, I think, will be iconic. And since the Rizzo is kind of blocking anyone from, like, in the future, completing that set possibly, it's going to be huge. Now, if it was me and I was just looking to buy one, I'd be perfectly okay with buying that 364 um, three digit mint for like a little less than a thousand over the floor, 4.3k. If it was me, because I don't, I wouldn't want to pay double 4.3k just for a sequential low mint. Um, I do think sequential low mints are pretty valuable, but. That's just the way I see it. Is that you selling it or is that you trying to buy it? Fun under the sun. Josh R. If it's you, I just gave you a like. I think I was already following you. I didn't like your profile though. Just give you a like. That's how I would see it. If you're thinking about buying it, I'm not telling you not to buy it. Maybe you really want that one, right? And you had got the gems to it. But if it was me and I was looking to buy one, I'd be perfectly okay with either buying a floor Rizzo. You know, if that's all you could afford, 3.5 feels like a steal. You know what I would rather do? I would rather probably buy two floors as opposed to 8K for that low sequential. Having two Rizzos will be huge, I think. Um, crazy it's at 3.5K right now. Oh, smart move then. Smart move, fun. Yeah, smart move. That's exactly what I would listen for too. Because when you're looking at all of them, you know, you see that 116 at 4.6K. I think if you put that 123 anywhere near that 5K range, people are going to scoop that. 8.8 seems a little high to me. Just for the market right now, I think if you keep it there, I think it will get bought eventually. Um, I see Rizzo being a floor of easily 10K soon, so... I think that's a good move by you. Are you trying to hope to sell it and then buy back a floor type thing? That's what I do a lot with some of my low mints. Um, not every low mint, but I, I love the fact that you can kind of have that arbitrage there of either paying up a little bit for that low mint or flipping that low mint at a high price and buying back the floor. I feel like it's a good thing you can do either way there. I want to list it below five, in my opinion. Not financial advice fun, but in my opinion, I would keep Maybe like six, seven if you wanted to sell it ASAP, but I'll, you're probably not in a rush. 
So it's a smart move right there. BDK in the building. How are we doing, BDK? You're going to ask me if Walt's still going to 100K? <laughs> so funny, right? <laughs> Tables have turned. I still believe in it big time. Um, still high limit, too. BDK, you picking up anything in the market lately? Couple golden moments I see rising slightly. Rose a little bit, then came back down. The Cogsworth and Lumiere. People want to keep that around that $60 price point for some reason. I think the next golden moment I get, if it's still below 200, is a Donald and Daisy. Only have two of them right now. Doing great yourself. Going for the drops. I'm still kind of torn. You know, BDK, I'm kind of game time decision. Um, if I go for the tings, I probably just add in gems to flip it because I do think it's going to come out pretty decent just because um, of how limited they are. But I don't think it's going to go crazy, crazy unless you get that secret rare. But I'm probably going to be holding off from the drops today. I'm trying to be really disciplined. And only go for the stuff like I absolutely, absolutely love. Elsa right now is at 420 DB. Now, what do you think about this? You might be an Elsa fan. Would you rather have the first appearance of Elsa in all gold? Or would you rather have Elsa in like the actual colorway? Because this is going to be a big thing to think about. Not just with Elsa, guys, but like Star Wars. Think of C-3PO is already pretty much in its gold cover, right? But think of R2-D2. Star Wars fans are going to want the R2-D2 in the original colorway, right? But they're also going to want the first appearance of R2-D2. It's definitely going to be interesting to see what happens when some of these characters, Homer and Bart, we're going to have the full Simpsons characters come out one day. So do you? what do you think is going to happen when we see the yellow Homer and Bart come out? The original Elsa come out, the the white R two D two, Mickey's hat in the real color, Donald Duck and Daisy Duck in actual color. Definitely, definitely interesting to see what kind of happens there. Gary, what's up? By the way, JD, no response from Vivi with my situation. Interesting, Gary. And you made a support ticket and everything like that? Because I did talk to uh, someone from the team, but they said you're going to have to make a support ticket yourself just because, like, with the whole privacy and security issues and everything like that. I've heard some other people have some issues too. So the only other thing I would say is, um, Gary, maybe make a support ticket. Or you already made a support ticket, right? I would go in their official Discord. Are you in their Discord? And then there should be like a help tab. Now, don't say anything like disrespectful or anything like that, but just let them know your situation, um, maybe your support ticket number. That way they can kind of fast track it. Hopefully that helps out. I'm very tempted to go for this just for the secret rare. Ooh, okay, BDK. He's having issues cashing out. Are you trying to cash out with crypto? Because there is like a temporary hold on the crypto cash out payment right now, I think. Um, if they haven't answered your ticket yet, BDK, I would say the same thing at, to uh, as I did to Gary. Go in Vivi's official Discord, and there should be like a help tab. And again, don't be like disrespectful and say like, you guys never answered me or anything like that. Like, that probably won't help your case. Um, so just let them know your support ticket number, um, you know, let them know kind of situation and should, should be okay. Should be able to fast track it. Maybe aren't these in blind box format, blind box format. It's definitely a, a gamble. That's a problem with the uh, blind boxes, you know, Sometimes it can be a great thing if it's a crazy hard drop to get, which today's first drop probably will be hard to get. Um, like, could you imagine if it wasn't a blind box and you were just going for that secret rare with only, I think, 450-something editions? 
Like this one, we would stand no chance. <laughs> so I would say for this drop, it's kind of a benefit because even if you get stuck with the common, or I should say uncommon, you're still you still have a one out of less than 999 edition collectible. So and the first edition one of these has 888 editions and it's at like 120 in the market right now. Or maybe it's at 190. I forget what I said. Maybe 190. Let me double check this. It's in the decon tab. Yeah, it's at 190. Yeah, so the 888 edition first edition king is at 190. So the 999, I should do pretty decent. I think it's kind of exclusive. It'll be interesting to see what happens. I saw this one, Geo JD. Do you have multiple Supermans? I do. Yes, I do. I got two Supermans. Um, I think Superman is going to be iconic because it's the first appearance of Superman, and I truly believe one day. Um, this is something that was said in Dan Crother's interview. Let me see if I can bring it up for you guys. If I can bring this interview up, this will be legendary. I can never find it right away, but I think it's on the Akomi. The Akomi YouTube channel. This one might be it. This is two years ago. Oh, my gosh. If this is it. So the thing about Superman I love so much is because he said in this interview that one day, say if they, if say, oh, I'm not guaranteeing this, he says, say if we roll out an uncommon Superman and then later on we roll out, you know, different capes. One could be like a secret rare gold fluorescent cape and you could kind of swap that onto the Superman and then sell it together. So I'm holding on to my Superman. <laughs> Not solely for that reason, because I do believe in first appearance of Superman. Um, it just fits my kind of thesis of that big IP, Batman, Superman, Spider-Man, Super, yeah, Batman, Superman, Spider-Man, like iconic characters, superheroes, villains that'll stand the test of time, I think. So I think I found it. This one might be it. Sometimes. This is um... it. All right, so I don't know exactly where it is, so give me a minute, guys. I'm trying to find out exactly which part it's at. But uh, it'll be around that time when we sort of use up all the hype that we're going to have. But when you come to certain uh, sections, you realize, well, you know, that's going to need a bit of a exactly, yeah. I mean, stuff. Uh, we have the social feed where people can share what they've got. Um, we have the market. Um, then we've got people in the in the collectible space that are, that are experts. We have some app experts and. App Use it. We, you know, we can kind of watch what the beta testers are doing with, with their permission, of course. And myself as an eight-year-old, but like ecosystem. Um, now that token ecosystem, what? And you know, if you say I need to put something in a wallet, you know, when it comes to crypto or something like that, it's fine because they they see things well. So the whole idea is that once you have a collectible, you can really upgrade it, customize it, make it unique. Uh, and then once you've done that, you can either sell the entire thing with all the upgrades, um, or you can strip it back down to parts and then sell them off individually. Okay. So, uh, though, presumably, I mean, I know it hasn't quite happened yet, but they'll remain individual NFTs as opposed to composables or some of these other protocols that are coming out? Yeah, that's correct. Um, so, yeah, so we don't use the actual composable technology, but uh, within the application, you can essentially group your NFTs together with, with, with your one main collectible you purchased and then sell them all as one big one going concern uh or or as i say as, as individual parts right. right so i mean maybe it's too early to say at the moment but do we have an expected timeline for that two years in five years in probably? uh great question something i get asked all the time <laughs> um so the uh, i think we also mentioned in a couple of uh a few updates back that we will be doing the three phase beta program so we're, we're already like well deep into the first part of that which is our internal beta um pretty much all of the um obviously the ownership resides with akomi he's a Oh, yeah, we can do so much more than the 
we face also is that because we're going. He mentioned Superman in here somewhere. I thought that was right around the spot. He mentioned it. Pretty, pretty standard app development stuff. Yeah. Obviously, we want to make it as fantastic as we can for release, but it will always. Exactly. Be So a few weeks off that. So <clears throat> fantastic. Got the Omi wallet, the tokens are in. We don't want to uh, sort of use up all the hype that we're going to have to be, um, just a few to start off with. And then there's we're going to be inviting in just more than likely January um, next year. So the, the timing wasn't right, so we didn't invent the collectibles for the very first time. Um, obviously, we can do full animation and everything as well. So, the whole idea is that once you have a collectible, you can really upgrade it, customize it, make it unique. All right, I can't find it off the top, uh, but that I think that is the interview. So, if you want to find it and look at it on your own, guys, just go to Akomi, type in like a Akomi VV, and it's on their actual Akomi YouTube channel. I'm pretty sure that was the video. So it's in there somewhere. But it's amazing. Uh, maybe let me know in the chat. Do you want to watch the whole thing? It's 28 minutes long. Maybe we'll wait till after the drop and then we'll watch that one. I've watched it before. But it's always good to watch some legendary interviews. Why'd you ask this, uh, Geo? About the uh, multiple Superman. Do you have multiple Superman? That's kind of what we're all thinking, BDK. We don't really know. I do think it's going to be above retail just because the first edition thing, there's 888 editions. It's going for 190 right now. And, you know, if you get stuck with the uncommon of this one, it's still only got 999 editions. So 2024, Dan. Kind of do just want to watch this one from start to finish. was his very first um, collectible and hobbyist retail. And then, uh, yeah, good friend introduced me to Bitcoin. And then the more I started learning about out every week, there was, there was just so much kind of cool stuff happening. And really what we identified was that there were three main areas where, where, where people could sort of make money or run a business in crypto. Uh, one was the exchanges. Um, they were completely tied up um the other was hardware like uh mining um and then the other was security uh and that was where there was still you know there were there were new people coming into the scene um like trezor <clears throat> and so that was what you know the area we decided to go entities will start using right them is an absolute obsessed collector from you know everything i think he owns you know all of the rare pokemon cards he's a <laughs> david you collector. <clears throat> I mean, he's really just somebody who who knows and understands the the collector's psyche and you know the emotional triggers and and what makes them tick. Uh, and for me, as I'm getting into this, you know, I mean, I'm very much a, a digital person. I don't really, uh, I'm not too much material in the physical space. So I am very excited personally about owning, uh, you know, a lot of these digital collectibles. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Going as well. Um, yeah, I. I think the collectibles thing is just a, such an incredible use of this technology as well. Mm, mm. With what we're doing, uh, is with you all times. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, mint condition, beautiful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you wish the development is, is going very well. So, and I think in our last company update, uh, we mentioned that we were around about eighty percent of the way finished with the development, and we had a couple of things to implement, which were uh, the master collector program, and more importantly, the the entire uh, token ecosystem. Um, now that token ecosystem was uh, fully integrated as as per a couple of weeks ago, um, and we've obviously been working with our token advisors, um, giving some demonstrations, showing how it works. Um, but yeah, very exciting. So the whole <coughs> Collect app now has full full blown Omi wallet integrated into it. You can send the send the tokens in and out, uh, and then there's various uh, mechanisms within the within the application that you can use the OMI token to purchase collectibles. Yeah. And in terms of the wallet and the way that that functions, I mean, is it the same wallet for OMI tokens and your NFTs or are they kind of two separate accounts? Is there a, an easy uh, In terms of the UI, it's two separate accounts. Uh, into the collectibles for the very first time. Um, obviously, the ownership resides with Akomi. 
um, until that NFT has been exchanged for the OMI token. And then at that point, the OMI token is sent off to a non-circulation wallet and the uh, ownership of the NFT is transferred to the new user. Okay. And then it's up to them what they do with it. They yeah. It. Yep. They can buy, sell, trade, build an augmented reality, upgrade, downgrade, sell it in the market, whatever. Upgrade. He uses upgrade, downgrade so easily to where that function's not even here yet. We can't really upgrade our collectibles yet. So I do think that's going to be part of like the master collector program, OUP, how much you stake. You may be eligible to upgrade your DeLorean, upgrade your Bubba Fett, upgrade your Spider-Man, upgrade your Superman cape. Like, who knows? Yeah. So, yeah, one of the very cool features that we're building in is that, um, you know, the, the beauty about digital space is it's... Yeah, we can do so much more than the physical world. So let's say you buy a, a collectible. It's let's just say you manage to get your hands on a on an uncommon because uh, and just as a quick reminder, we have five different levels of rarity Here it from is. common right through to super rare, and obviously the super rare are a uh, much much smaller numbers. Um, so let's say the you, you manage to get yourself an uncommon. And then over the lifetime uh, of these collectibles and or over the lifetime of the app, we will start releasing um, collectible upgrades. So, for example, um, let's just say, and I'm just purely using this as an example. I'm not saying it's a license we've got or anything, but let's just say we have Superman and um, <clears throat> you buy an uncommon. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> that cough means it's confirmed. <laughs> That is amazing. Do you guys hear this right now? I'm not guaranteeing this. I'm just speculating. I'm just saying if we happen to roll out a Superman, that's an uncommon. I'm not saying we have that. <laughs> Check to see what rarity our Superman is. Well, so you, let's say you buy uh, a uh, collectible. It's let's just say you manage to get your hands on a on an uncommon because uh, and just as a quick reminder, we have five different levels of rarity from common right through to super rare, and obviously the super rare are a much, much smaller numbers. Um, so let's say the you, you manage to get yourself an uncommon, and then over the lifetime uh, of these collectibles and or over the lifetime of the app, we will start releasing um, collectible upgrades. So for example, um, Huge. let's just say, and I'm just purely using this as an example, I'm not saying it's a license we've got or anything, but let's just say we have Superman <laughs> and um, <clears throat> you buy an uncommon, and then in the future, we just have to bring out um, a whole new range of capes. And these capes might be, will, will, will also range from common right through to uh, secret rare. Um, but the secret rare might be a pure gold version. Or this is why, Gio, I still got my two Superman. Not the only reason why, but I do think that this is going to be big. Are you guys not able to see this? Oh, wow. Let me uh, Let me rewind this again. I didn't realize you couldn't see this. Sorry, guys. Yeah. So, yeah, one of the very cool features <laughs> that we're building in is that. Rewind. Um, you know, the, the beauty about digital space is it's, you know, we can do so much more than the physical world. So, let's say you buy a uh, collectible. It's, let's just say you manage to. Yep, five minutes to the drop. On an uncommon, because, uh, and just as a quick reminder, we have five different levels of rarity from common right through to super rare. And obviously, the super rare are uh, a much, much smaller numbers. <laughs> Um, so let's say the, you, you manage to get yourself an uncommon and then over the lifetime uh, of these collectibles and or over the lifetime of the app, we will start releasing um, collectible upgrades. So for example, um, let's just say, and I'm just purely using this as an example, I'm not saying it's a license we've got or anything, but let's just say we had Superman <laughs> and um, <clears throat> you buy an uncommon and then in the future we decide to bring out um, a whole new range of capes. And these capes might be, will, will, will also range from common right through to uh, secret rare. Uh, now, this is exactly why for like the Deadpool example of the, the Christmas sweater, I 100% believe that could have been like maybe one of the first accessories. And may, once they release these upgrades, you can probably swap this Christmas sweater for a different outfit or whatever the case is. And same thing that he's saying with Superman. And if we happen to get the uncommon Superman, check the app check which rarity superman we have i think maybe later this year or this may be in 2023 upgrades will be in a whole nother vertical and so depending on your master collector rank omi utility rank you know all that stuff i think will play a factor in how much you can upgrade your collectibles 
Um, but the secret rare might be a pure gold version, or it might be a billowing version, because obviously we can do full animation and everything as well. So the whole idea is that once you have a collectible, you can really upgrade it, customize it, make it unique. Uh, and then once you've done that, you can either sell the entire thing with all the upgrades, um, or you can strip it back down to parts and then sell them off individually. Okay. So they'll, they'll presumably, I mean, I know it hasn't kind of happened yet, but they'll remain individual NFTs as opposed to composables of some of these other protocols that are coming out? Yeah, that's correct. Um, so yeah, so we don't use the actual composable technology, but uh, within the application, you can essentially group your NFTs together with with, with your one main collectible. You've how much does that go for? A secret rare gold animated cape on your Superman, <laughs> sell it together, or take it off, and now you got the OG original Superman. And that's kind of how I wanted to go for it. And, and as soon as he said this back in 2019, and I saw this interview, I was like, oh my gosh, I am not selling my Superman. <laughs> Superman's going to skyrocket, I feel like. Not financial advice, my opinion only. I could be wrong. But like Once these upgrades start coming out and people start hearing about different capes and stuff like that that's just for superman think of batman think of the different stuff with spider-man i think one of the upgrades for these animated collectibles could be like a different animation some people have said like the spider-man one it was like they were let down a little bit some people said the, the darth vader one they wish they had another animation well what if they said well you can upgrade your animations now instead of having one or two you can have three or four different animations Sky's the limit with this stuff. And I think once that stuff starts to roll out, then we're going to realize well, a lot of people start to realize like, wow, we were really, really, really early. <laughs> like, it just sounds too cliche to talk about how early we are right now, you know? We got two minutes, one minute to the drop. Let me kind of pause this and just get ready for the drop here. Nope, we got the first drop in a minute. Move a rock in the building. We got punch. Fun, how we doing, brother? Appreciate you big time. Hopefully that kind of helps out too, what you were saying with the Batman earlier. Probably could just leave it, um, unless you were looking for like a quick sale. But I think if you leave it, it's probably a better bet if you're not in a rush. Appreciate the super chat so much, man. I'm going to read this and all um, right after the drop. I'll just read it now. <laughs> Johnny, love the passion and knowledge you bring to our community. You make it more valuable. True OG. It means a lot, man. It means a lot of fun. And I appreciate you for always hopping on the live stream, supporting the channel, you know, Twitter, Instagram, you name it. Everyone's a part of this community, you know. One minute left. I think this will be super, super fast of a sellout. Guys, so if anyone's new. The buy now button pops up. It's kind of laggy right there. Let's we'll start from the very beginning. All the other drops in the future today. Click on the skip one. And the buy now is going to pop up right under the comments and right under the hearts right there. And again, this is probably one we're going to have to time. So you can wait until you see buy now pop up and then click. Or you can try to press slightly before you see buy now because you know it's popping up one second after zero. So if you press slightly before one second after zero, by the time your finger clicks, it should hit. Let me see if I can do it on screen. I'm going to try to go for it like this. Because if I miss, I'm not too worried about it. But if I get it, that would be crazy. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Mine now. I missed it. Oh, my God. I still got it. What? All right, so that tells me it didn't sell out right away. But the, oh my gosh, it did sell out. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's the weirdest thing in the world. It did sell out. <laughs> that was wild. I don't know how I had a chance to get it. Let me know who got the secret rare. We got to have one person at the secret rare. Yeah, every hour is the drop, so we got more drops coming up. Every hour is the drop. I can't believe I had it on the second try there. 
So that time I just missed the buy now button when I clicked, but I felt like it was a good timing. I remember someone saying a gold Superman cave would be a cool upgrade. It's definitely coming, Geo. It's just a matter of hashtag when. <laughs> Punch, how we doing, brother? Hope all is well, my man. Hey, sending those good vibes, Mooba Rock. Appreciate you big time. Secret rare for Diane C today. I hope. Let's go. Ultra rare for Gary. BDK got a low mint. Sub five hundo. DG Vet got an uncommon. See, the good thing about this one is even if you get the quote unquote worst rarity, just the one with the highest mints, it's not like other blind boxes where you may get one with like 8,000, 10,000 additions. It's still only, you know, 999 additions. I skipped this one, rent is due. No worries about that. Play through games. That's the thing about VV, right? They're going to have drops all the time. And you're probably going to kind of want to go for every drop. But I feel like it's important to kind of be disciplined and really go for the ones that you love or you see, you know, big value in. Because every drop is going to be enticing to kind of go for. Um, and that was kind of like what we were all doing in the beginning, just go for everything. And kind of as it kept growing, a lot of us started to realize, like, all right, we don't have endless money. So you really got to be picking and choosing which ones you really love or really want or see high value in. <laughs> uncommon. Shout out to you. I got an uncommon 407. That's a good mint right there. Sub 500. I feel like a lot of uncommons happen today. Yeah, absolutely. Low mints are always solid. I'm surprised it sold out. Carlos, I would say so too, except for the fact that it's just so limited. I mean, there's only – what's the total additions here? I don't even know the total additions, but we got 555, so basically 500 secret rares. Basically 13. Yeah, it's pretty limited drop. So that's the thing. Even if it's not you know the most popular – Something that's that limited is still probably going to sell out ASAP. Just get one work is valuable. Pretty sure he's a big-time artist. Good luck, BDK. That was the weirdest drop ever. I had it. Or I'm sorry, I missed it, and I just waited there. I was like, oh, my gosh. Clicked it again, and it worked. <laughs> like, what? I should have bought one. <laughs> I would have had to add in gems, but... <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to be able to stay on stream until 1 p.m. today. <laughs> oh, well, we are going to try. Struggling already. Mac on deck, release a little tease. <laughs> quack, quack. Need to go to bed now. Whew, work 12 hour shift. That guy's, wow. Putting it to work. Shout out to you, Berlin. Berlin. I hope I say that name right. Berlin 3. Shout out, shout out to you for putting in a long shift there. Have a good night's sleep. Appreciate you for tuning in, joining the live stream today. Wow, the radioactive one has a breathing glow effect. No way. <laughs> that is sick. Let's take a look. Let's see if any surprises came with these. I think we're going to start to see that a little bit more often, too. To press buy now or not. I probably would risk it on these things. Oh, yeah. That's sick. Kind of makes me think what the glowing cape is going to look like on Superman. That's pretty sweet.
Let's see if they close the market. Let's see about some prices, huh? Or is any other ones animated? Let's let's give it a look. Probably animate the secret rare or something, maybe, right? Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, did you vet got the secret rare? No way. I knew one person was gonna get it. Yeah, it's not animated, but still. Super rare. Let's take a look. Yes, they're open already. All right. Secret rare is going for 199 210 now. We got the radioactive ultra rare going for 83. We got the rare boom ting going for 65. Okay. The uncommon's below retail 40. So it's at 39. So not all of them are above retail. I think the animated glow one could rise as people find out. Shout out to DG Vet for getting the secret rare today. Anybody else land something crazy? Saw a couple low mints. I mean, that's a good thing about getting low mint too. You don't really have to worry about what the floor is all the time. Depending on how low the mint is. Anyone get any two-digit mints or anything like that? Uncommon 244. That's a pretty good one. It's ridiculous. Is anyone else getting blown up in Twitter DMs of like all spam stuff, like scam, spam, scam stuff? Like this is what my request folder looks like. <laughs> A whole bunch of just scams. Like what is happening? So sorry if you've ever DM me and I didn't get to it because there's <laughs> the requests are just filled. Wow, no way. <laughs> Diane C got an ultra rare, but not just any ultra rare. A 717. Those, that's a good mint right there. Any kind of those special mints, like repeating mints or sequential mints or mints you can read back and forth, like either way. I always forget the name of those. Ooh, first time I've seen this screen. Buy another. Palindrome, yes, that's it. I always forget. I'm going to say the same thing tomorrow. I forget the name of that. I know a lot of people who literally seek out those palindrome mints and really try to collect them. I think they're going to be a big deal because think about it this way. If you're ever unsure, like, is somebody going to want this? You know, collectors collect, right? Like, collectors try to find anything that's going to, like, differentiate from someone else. <laughs> Sergio. Let's take a look. Let's take a look how they're doing. Secret rares have gone down a lot. 145 now. This is the kind of drop that I think 100 now. Whew. This is one of those drops that I think once the interoperability, interoperability kicks in and um, Donnie John. <laughs> it's hilarious. Super rushed in the house. How we doing? How we doing? I think that interoperability is going to be key for a lot of these artist collectibles. Um, so, yeah, they may not do the best right away, but a lot of times people just love to collect them. And I think people will be rewarded. Like, I have my low mint Devil Bunny OG, um, Devil OG Bunny. I've been trying to hold that, but I feel like I could use the gems right now for it. But that's been a, in my head a longer term hold until we get that interoperability, then let it go. But lately, I've, I've had it listed and it hasn't sold. So 
I'm kind of iffy if I should delist it or not. I'm just one of the gems for it right now. No way. You're punching a secret rare. And what? And the ultra rare. You're going for the whole set. Then punch you might as well at this point. That's insane. You hit the secret rare on the four minute rebound. Holy cow. You probably got mine. I would have had to add in gems though. Pretty much just holding all my big stuff. Trying to find stuff that I don't love in my collection. That I might have gotten for MCP points or something like that to let go. Just to have some gems to work with. But I'm really not trying to let go of too, too much right now. It's just not a good mar seller market. It's a good buying market. I think not financial advice, of course, but I do think, you know, there's a big opportunity in the market right now. Let's see, Todd's back down to 1.5. Let's take a look at the prices of the things. Secret Rare, 105. It's probably like 111. That was a real floor. Ultra Rare is at 70. Rare is at 36. Whew. Uncommon is getting beat up right now, 32. It's not a bad idea, Super Rush. I think it's super, I, I love a lot of the Ultra Rare comics. I've let go of a few, um, but for the most part, I love the Ultra Rare comics. Um, you guys know I had to make a big pickup recently. I picked up the MC1 Ultra Rare. Um, I had to get that one. <laughs> I had to lock that one in. And I got a, I got a decent amount of Ultra Rare still. One, I love the artwork on a lot of those Ultra Rares. Like the VV exclusives. And two, I think they're just going to follow the secret rares as the secret rares go what way? Like get out of reach, I should say. I overpaid for that Star Wars secret rare. I got it right away. It's back down to like 500. But that's one I'm just long holding. I went hard on the Star Wars comic, actually. I got all the rarities and I have a three digit comic. <laughs> My baby original cover. I think that's something that's going to grow in people long term. It took it took me a while. How long did it take for me to really start loving the original cover of Low Mints? Like, I think comics came out August, September of 2021. I have no idea the date it came out. Probably a little bit later than that. The first ever Marvel NFT came out August 7th in 2021. So it was a little bit after that. Um, they released the collectible, the Spider-Man collectible first. Then they did the comics. Um, that's why I, I like that secret rare Spidey just a little bit more than the MC one, just because it's the first ever digital collectible digital IP that Marvel ever released. And it's the FA Spidey on top, but what do you think about BAM cats about the BAM cats? Do you think they'll go above hundred gems since there are only rares and ultras? Let's take a look. Let's take a look, Sergio. We got Allison Bamcat. I believe she's a newer artist on VV as well, too. So shout out to Allison. I think a lot of people like the art on this one. It's the bird cat. <laughs> shout out to Kobe Collects. I didn't realize this is what people were calling it, the bird cat. But it makes sense. Bird, bird feet, bird feathers, but a cat face. Interesting dynamic there. And the colorway is just pretty unique, too. I think this one's going to float around just above retail, maybe. I don't really know. With 1,200 editions, you would think no. But I think just people, I've been getting the sentiment that people really like that one. This one should definitely go above retail just because there's 666 editions. Even if this isn't the most favorite of people's. I love the fact that it's only $45. Instead of 77, I think that plays a big part in this.
And what's Terry McPherson's? 45 as well, too. Yep. So Terry McPherson's is like the same edition and price point as Allison Bamcat. It is the exact same one. It's cool. Now, Tara McPherson is a pretty popular artist, I would say, on Vivi. You know, it gets a lot of respect, I would say. Yeah, I think I may have to get off at 1130. <laughs> I thought I was going to try to stay on until 1, but I'm dying right now. Tara McPher I think Tara McPherson's art is going to do pretty well. Maybe this one struggles a little bit. Just because they're 1,200 editions. But I think this one's going to do really well. If you get lucky and get the Crystal Waterfall later today, this is going to be a big one, I think. I mean, it's not going to be like, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars. But I think you're going to have a solid come up if you buy it for 45 gems. One, I love the art on it. And two, it's just super limited. 666 editions for that piece. This one's interesting. I don't really know, Sergio, how this one's exactly going to do. I don't really know. Now, if these were flip-flopped, I would say 100%. If this had the 666 editions, it would you know, do really well. But Vivi's known to make the most popular one, kind of the one with the more editions. And I do like that aspect because that way... It puts value on this one just because it is scarce already. And it puts value on the one that does have a lot of additions because it's popular. If it was flipped and this had 666 and this one had the 1266, this would probably do poorly at first at least. Um, but I could be completely wrong, guys. I like the artwork on it. Um, if I had to pick between the two, I would definitely go with the bird cat. But I like the art. And the cool thing, too, about the artist collectibles is they're known to do airdrops. So if you collect a full set of the artists that you like, you may be rewarded with an airdrop in the future. A little bit easier for them to do it with the artist collectibles, like I said, as opposed to the big IP. But the big IP utility airdrops are coming eventually. So Me personally, Sergio, I am skipping it. Um, I just don't have that many gems, so I got to be really disciplined in what I get. Now, if you had hundreds of gems, thousands of gems, you know, tens of thousands or whatever the case is, you got enough gems to spend on this drop. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, you know? It's just for me, like, I would have to add in gems right now to buy something like this. So I don't really feel like I should be going for, like, all these drops. Yeah, if you can find ultra rares that cheap, I think that's a steal. That's the kind of stuff that I think is going to pump like crazy once we get the MCP final article out. And if you're stacking it now, you're in a better position in the, than FOMOing in once it does happen. Because especially with comics, like the real key, in my opinion, is you know the daily recurring of points. You get three points for an ultra rare comic. So for $13, $14, if you see them that low, not financial advice, of course, but it's a steal in my opinion. Um, even rares are great too because they're two points and sometimes you can find them for like super, super cheap. And think, of, think about it this way. If you FOMO in once they make that article and you buy a bunch of comics that day, that's great. You get all those points for that day, but think of the people that have been preparing for that and have been stacking those three and two points for the ultra rares and the rare comics for months, a year. Like those recurring points are going to add up big time. Yeah, very good point, Gio. And the thing about that is I kind of felt like I overpaid at the time when I did, but I felt like Star Wars, especially on Vivi, is such a powerful IP. I was like, that's one secret rare I'm locking in. <laughs> and I don't have too many secret rare comics, so I felt like for me, uh, you know, that's definitely one I need. Wow, two years it's been. Yeah, coming up, what, October 14th, 16th? Let me look at the exact day. I know it's in October. 
I can't imagine if I found Vivi that early. <laughs> October 14th. Let's go. Put me in the Vivi trivia game. Let's go. <laughs> I'm actually really bad at trivia overall. But if it's like all Vivi related, <laughs> I'm all in for that one. Someone put that on the uh, Twitter the other day. I loved it too. Tagged a bunch of people. It's a stud lineup, you know. <laughs> a bunch of studs in that lineup. But I saw, I saw uh, Kyle Wilson write a tweet, and uh, I thanked him for it because he tagged me in it, and I just felt like, you know, it's something that he didn't have to say, you know, but it was I respected the heck out of him for that because even something small like that, you know, it just meant a lot to me. Let me see if I can bring it up. I thought it was great. <laughs> it was like a. Uh, And they said they're going to be having multiple rounds. I don't know if it's really going to happen. I think it's just like a for fun thing. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, let's go. Here it is. Uh, White Slash said, VV Squares Challenge. Which YouTube content creator would win in an all things VV trivia game? Who you guys got? We got Pineapple Gang himself, NFT Wonderful. We got Kyle Wilson. We got Brock. We got the VV OG. <laughs> These are all OGs. We got VV Magic. We got Cavell. We got Pirates. Shout out to Chad. We got Hello K. And we got Taps. This is a stud lineup right here. <laughs> and then what I wanted to show you is what Kyle said. Kyle said, I would vote for me, of course. <laughs> but honestly, Johnny Dunn 777 is a human VV histor history book. And Brock is older than Moses and VV years. <laughs> and everyone else is OG. Is, is that? I don't want to say it. curse. Great crew all together. Oh, I'm pretty sure Taps keeps 100 tabs open at all times for this reason. That's hilarious. Like I said, this is a stud group right here. And then we got a couple other uh, great comments, too. Wanted to make sure, you know, um, I would love this. I think somebody mentioned uh, Sleeping Comics. We got NFT Flenny. Oh, man. <laughs> well, I thought it was hilarious. I'm taking myself if it's all things, Vivi. <laughs> but that's a stud lineup right there. If it was trivia randomly, I would not win. <laughs> but thoughts on Dragon Girl? I love Dragon Girl, Gary. Uh, may take a while. You know, it's been a year or so since it's been released. Hasn't really gone up too, too much. But it's one I believe in big time for a few reasons, and I'll tell you why. First of all, I think it looks amazing. Second of all, it's season one. It's last set in season one. And one kicker that most people don't realize is that the first ever license that VV secured, that VV got, was Tokidoki. The co-founder of Tokidoki is Simone Legnu. He's an artist himself and the co-founder of Tokidoki. So he was the first one to get on board with David Yu, with the VV app, took the chance, took the risk with them, and I think they blessed him with having that you know last set of season one. I think that's a big deal. So it's the first ever art piece, you know, fine art piece on VV. So for me, it, it just has so much history, and I love the way it looks. Where I'm still holding on to my two ultra rares, and I just have one of the other ones. But I love Dragon Girl Gary. But I think it's one that is a little bit riskier than some of the big IP, in my opinion, like the Batman, the Superman, the Spider-Man, Disney. But I think as VV continues to grow, and people realize how important season one stuff is, season one could be interoperable. Last set of season one, 888 editions on top of it all. So that's definitely an undervalued comic that I do not have, in my opinion. Um, I think this comic goes for so much money in real life. I do have a common three digit, but that's pretty much all I have of that one. Zach, how we doing, brother? From the palace. Another Guys, if you guys aren't following the palace on YouTube, go follow them. Amazing YouTubers. A bunch of YouTubers came together made a channel. 99 yards down the field. 
Wow, you got the Seeker Rare. <laughs> oh my gosh. Seeker Rare 142 mint. I feel like a lot of people got Seeker Rares today. You know, December, I appreciate you big time for tuning in. I'm probably going to be signing off in a few minutes. I'm looking at the time. It's 1130. I don't think I'd be able to stay on stream for another hour, hour and a half. Definitely think it's undervalued. Amazing job, Zach. Crushed it on the secret rare today. Let me go over the drop, the next drop real quick. I'll go over the next couple of drops since I won't be uh, on the live stream. <clears throat> oh, man. We got Allison Bamcat. <laughs> yeah, the bird cat. <laughs> Made me laugh when Kobe said that today. If you got extra gems, I don't think it's a bad idea. I do think could do decent. I think it'll be above 45. Iffy on this one just because the addition count, but I like the artwork a lot on that one, so I don't know. I definitely 100% think this one's going above retail. <laughs> this one's going to do pretty well, in my opinion. It just looks pretty cool. And 666 editions, ultra rare. The McPherson typically does pretty well on VV2. I don't love this one, but I think I like the Galaxy vibes in it. I think that one may be... I'm, I'm if feeling this one, the addition count. I think this is going to do really, really well. One last time, go over the prices for today's first drop. We'll start at the bottom. We got the uncommon thing at 34. I feel like it kind of gained a little bit. The rare at 42. I think it could be starting to pick back up a little bit. Ultra rares at 75. And the bomb things at 169. So it is picking back up a little bit. I think it went down to 110, 100. The secret right now is picking back up. Appreciate you guys big time for tuning in today on the live stream. I know it's not maybe everybody's favorite type of drop. You know, a lot of people like the big IP stuff. But, you know, to each his own, right? Artwork's objective. Some people love this stuff. Some people, you know, aren't the biggest fans. And it's perfectly okay. Vivi's going to drop so many things to where it's impossible to love everything, right? So, I think it's important to kind of just be disciplined. If you don't have that many gems, go for things you love or see high value in. And if you do have a lot of gems, then, you know, maybe you get some things that you just enjoy. Radioactive thing, glowing in 3D looks cool. Absolutely. That's one thing I did notice. I think someone pointed it out on the live stream. Was it you, Super Rush? Oh, Geo. Geo mentioned it. He said the radioactive one has a breathing glow effect. I think that could pump it a little bit. People like that. It is. It's at like 77. Back to retail now. Let's go. Pretty cool that they add a little glowing effect. I wonder if that's what the capes look like on the Superman one day. Who knows? But I'm going to be signing out, guys. Uh, I'm sorry I can't uh, stay on for the next two drops. <laughs> I feel like I would die on the stream right now. Uh, maybe I'll come back for the Terry McPherson drop or something. But shout out to Allison Bamcat. Shout out to Skit One. Shout out to Terry McPherson dropping today. Designer Con 2022. Till next time, guys. I'm trying to, you know, get better. I've been trying to feel better all week, but pretty much feeling the same. So we shall see. But appreciate you guys big time tuning in. Good live stream. I'm signing out. It's your boy, Johnny Dunn. We out, fam.